Hi, welcome to an Inventor 2020 video tutorial. Now I want to show you how to do the drawing for the connecting rod. It should look something like this. So let's have fun with Inventor. Okay, so let's go for the base view first. You have to select your part and I want to go for a scale of 1 to 2, yes, because I want to shorten that view afterwards. Okay, so move it up. Let's go for a break. I want it to be horizontal, yes, that's okay. Gap 65, yes, and style, I will go for this style or that one, whatever you want. Select the start point for the material to be removed. Let's go here and maybe like this. Move it a little bit down and then go for a projected view of this one. And right click create and it's already shortened. That's nice. I want to see the tangent borders of those rounds of fillets. So go to that view and edit view. Let's see model state display options. Go for tangent edges. Okay. And I also want to see the hidden lines here. Okay. And I don't want to see them here, but I could go for, where is it, edit view. It should be independent of the parent view. And let's go for without hidden lines like that. Now for the dimensions, go to annotate and maybe add some center lines here, there, one here, one over there, for this one and that one, for this one and that one, and maybe for this one. Now the dimensions, you could go for of course, a diameter if you want. Same over here, diameter like that. And you could of course cancel this out. So that's this one. Come here. Okay, like that. Same over here. In this dimension, and then this one, and of course that one. Go for that radius and let's see if we can get this one as well. Great. I need that one. I need a distance from the circle to that line here. Same from that circle to this center point from that circle over here to that one. And if you want to go for tangent, let's see if we can get this one. Yeah. Zoom out. Yes. Then from the circle to that edge, like this. 
this should be 40 yes this should be 10 40 and 65 maybe move this a little bit over here let's cancel the command and move it a little bit up sorry <laughs> i'm gonna go for the 750 and one's missing now i want to move this a little bit down here and then get to this distance which should be over there as well like that maybe i suppose i've got almost all of them but i need somehow a center line here so let's go for a center line like this and then you could easily dimension that as diameter like that now from this circle to that circle again 750 This should be 55. That distance should be 30. This one should be 60. Same on the other side. And this really goes quite fast. And this will be, let's go for diameter 8 same over here diameter 8 that one 15 this one 15 that one again go for a diameter let's move it up here and bring this up as well maybe like that now for some linear dimensions this should be 56 that distance is 9 and this distance is 20 same over here that's 56 from this circle to that arc it's 9 and from this line to that center is 20 and I think this one's missing and I should be done. Yeah, I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like, give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. Would be very nice if you want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.